In the given equation, k is an integer constant. If the equation has no real solution, what is the least possible value of k? Okay, so we have this equation here, x times kx minus 56 equals negative 16. We have to find a value of k so that this equation has no real solution. Okay, so let's first distribute out this x. So we'll get kx squared minus 56x. And let's move this negative 16 to the other side. So we'll add 16 to both sides. And then negative 16 plus 16 is just 0. OK, so now we can see we have a quadratic that's of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And that's good. So we can just use the fact that this is a quadratic to find the discriminant. So the discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. And an equation has no solution when the discriminant is equal to a negative number. So when the discriminant is less than 0. So we need to find the discriminant now. So let's do that. So the b term here is the coefficient of the x term. So in this case, it's 50, negative 56. So it'll be negative 56 squared. And then minus 4 times a, which is the coefficient of the x squared term, this a here, and that's k. And then c is the constant it's over here. So that's 16. So 16. And that has to be less than 0. OK, so let's simplify this down. So if negative 56 squared is just the same thing as 56 times 56, since negative times a negative cancels out. So we have 3,136 minus 4 times k times 16, which is just equal to negative 64k. So that has to be less than 0. So now we can solve for a value of k. Let's move the negative 64k to the other side. So we'll be left with 3,136 is less than 64k. Then let's divide both sides by 64 to get k isolated. So when we divide both sides by 64, we'll be left with just a, here this should be a 64. We'll just be just left with 1k on the right side. And then we'll have to do this division in our calculator. So 3,136 divided by 64 equals 49. And then we can just re re flip this to say that k is greater than 49. So that means we need to be greater than 49 in order for the discriminant to be negative. Because when the discriminant is negative, that means we have no solution. So now, the question asks us for an integer, which means like a whole number, positive or negative, And it has to be the least possible. So the smallest value we can be while also being an integer is something greater than 49. So the next integer that is greater than 49 is 50. So the smallest integer possible for the value of k is 50.